What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Welcome back to another edition of the Bad Podcast. My boy Brad and Dwayne make up the BAD Bad. What's up, Brad? What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about being proactive and eliminating the procrastination element. So I got a quote here from Mark Victor Hansen. Don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. There will always be challenges, obstacles, and less than perfect conditions. So what? Get started now. With each step you take, you will grow stronger and stronger, more and more skilled, more and more self-confident, and more and more successful. Let's do this. I love it, man. Let's get it. Hey, good job, guys. Good job. Mental battles. Mental battles. Hey, man. Each man for life, baby. What it look like, what it be like back in the building with my man, Brad, another edition of the Bad Podcast, man. And this is a really good one, man. Like, yeah. I, I got some business to handle before we jump in, but this is a really good one. And I mm -hmm. think we segued to it pretty good as well, because yeah. yeah. you're listening to, to this week's the podcast that came out this week, man. We, we kind of hinted at that as well. So we're going to get into it. But before we do, man. First, man, shout out to you guys, man. You guys are amazing. Uh, putting in the comments on the YouTube, man, that is huge. Uh, even on the social, uh, even on the uh, podcast app, all of those things are helping us. Because what happens when you put those comments in, it, it helps us in the algorithm and help people discover this podcast is broadcasting. You know, the thing I keep hearing, B, is people that find us, they love us. And they're like, mm -hmm. why don't everybody else know about you guys? <laughs> so the way you help us get the word out is to share as you're doing, talk about mm -hmm. it, comment. So I'm going I'm to read a couple of the comments. First one is funny because uh, uh, it, it's, it's a two-worder by Miss April uh, Hodes876 said, go Wolfpack. So it must have been when hey. I gave the Philip Rivers, gave, <laughs> gave the Philip Rivers nod, said, go Wolfpack. <laughs> uh, then the next one is boy nine one girl oh five. I guess that's her boy and a girl said maybe if Jeff created an E two M alarm clock or ringtone that screams in Brad voice twenty eight days, <laughs> <laughs> I would stop hitting the snooze button. Dwayne, can you can you record a ringtone? I'm serious, bro. <laughs> hey, we we might see what we can do. Yeah, I right, so. So believe it or not, uh, Miss Boy ninety one girl oh five. Um, I have a couple of custom ringtones on uh, iTunes, so I know how to submit it. So hey, we might we might make that happen for you. Like All right, one more, uh, maybe one more. I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. Uh, let's see, Melanie uh, looks like uh, Richardson dash MX two J one says I never thought about congratulating myself because. I now have to do more circuits on demo. It's tough working out without the coaches pushing us through it, but I do it. Flex emoji. Congratulations to you. That is that is that that's mental strength right there to to do it on the demo. Um, actually, I find sometimes be like like I push a little bit harder when I got to do it on the demo, man. I mean, yeah. I love the ladies. They have great tips yep. and things, but mm -hmm. it's something about just you know just zoning out and knocking that out so yeah. one more and then we'll get into it yeah because uh we, we got to get into this topic but it says uh uh shara brooks 8374 says y'all are preaching to me about that snooze button <laughs> it mm -hmm. is so hard to get up at 4 30 to work out before work but that's mm -hmm. what i need to do to make to make it my priority so yeah uh shara yeah. we definitely uh rooting for you to to get your hand out the snooze button, get your butt out of bed. And we're going to talk about that today, man. And and, mm -hmm. and and hopefully this will inspire you as well. So thank yeah. you guys for the comments. Continue to drop them in here. And especially if we hit something in this, this conversation, please, please leave a comment, leave a like and share. All right, yeah. B, read that quote one more time and let's jump into it. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of sum this one up, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit we're gonna hit some strings today, baby, because this is something that we can all relate to. Um, but don't wait until everything is just right. It will never be perfect. There will always be challenges, obstacles, and less than uh, perfect conditions. And you know, we we kind of brushed on that last week. And what started this uh, this? You know, I I, I like to uh, 
use my life as, as, as content for this podcast. So what sparked this conversation um, that we're going to have today is a, is, a, is a talk that I had with a student this morning. And they had this big assignment, right, on Friday. And you know, as a high school young, young person, uh, procrastination will often take over. But that's not just a young person's game. That takes control of our own lives. We, we allow sure. procrastination to set in. We put things off, you know, just like this assignment for this young person. All right. And, and what happens a lot of times is we wait for that, uh, that, that crisis call, right? We wait for that, that emergency. We talk about that urgency that comes with all those emergencies. You get that phone call saying, hey, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. You get that call saying, hey, your assignment's due tomorrow. So what do you do? Then you go all in, you go frantic, you panic a little bit, right? And and what we have to do is we have to limit that procrastination. Procrastination is destroying. I mean, it's, it's obliterating people in our society, procrastination. We got to be proactive. And that's, you know, that's, that's plain and simple. And that's going to kind of lead us into to what we're going to talk about today. So that was the spark, right? That was the spark. So here's what we're going to talk about today. All right. All right. We want to we want to think of life. We want to think of fitness. We want to think of our relationship. We want to think about our place of work. Just like Noah thought about his ark. Right. Mm. So so Noah, Noah, when did he start building his ark? He didn't wait for the storm to come to him. He went out and he he cut the lumber. He got mm. the tools. He got the resources. And what did he started to do? He started to place the the pieces in the right the the right spot. Right. He went out and pursued the animals and put the put the animals on his ship. Okay. He didn't wait for that crisis call. He didn't wait for the storm to come to him. He went out and he took his own approach and said, "You know what." I'm going to be proactive. I'm not going to procrastinate. I'm not going to wait for the clouds to roll in. I'm not going to wait for that first strike of lightning. Boom. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go and make this thing happen before any adversity, any resistance comes to me. I'm going to take control. Can All we right. Relate? Can we relate? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hit it with the Noah, man. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I love, I love a good Bible story, man. That's, mm-hmm. that's my lane. Um, you yep. know, the, the, uh, I will say Noah had instructions. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, we have, we have, okay. So you take that and you and you can you can sort of uh, think of this as a blueprint. And you know, I I preach the prep, rep, repeat mentality, right? So that's the pre- preparation component, right? That preparation that was the blueprint. Hey, here's the plan. Okay, be proactive with that plan because we're presented yes. plans. But what do we do with those plans? We okay, I'll place it over here. <laughs> I'll come back to it later. Noah didn't do that, did he? If he no. would have, what would happen? What would have happened? He would have got he got flat, fl- flooded, man. He wouldn't have made it. Flooded, swiped off the it. planet. Swiped, no, legit, baby. legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's 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 legit, man. Um, you know, the 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 biggest thing, man. Uh, that and I I love that analogy, you know, um, because he 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 got the blueprint, you know, mm-hmm. he got what to make it with who to gather what to do and he went and like you said he went to work man yeah. um and while he was working he was being mocked because yeah. they, had, they had never seen any uh any rain was not a thing right you right, know right. uh so it was like what what's this what's this boat for man like what <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah. Yeah. sometimes when you when you're when you're in that that lane when you're when you're doing stuff that's that's not normal. You know, you're hitting that. You're getting up at 4 a.m. You're getting up at 3 a.m. You're going to get mocked. Like yeah. people going to say, why, why, why are you doing it? Why are you not in the bed? You know, why are you not yeah. not sleeping, man? And and you know, in this story, those same critics, it wasn't it wasn't a good ending, man. I mean, you know, I- <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you, you sort of you sort of jumped on me because I was going to talk about that, and you you, uh. will all, you will always have critics, external critics that are always going to point the fin- finger and always going to mock you, like you were saying, right? Mm-hmm. The reason they the reason they often mock you is because they are they're jealous, they're envious of what you're doing, and you know Noah Noah was building this massive structure. Nobody knew why he was doing it. Nobody knew that uh, he had the guidelines and in, in the in the that blueprint nobody had nobody knew that he had uh you know a plan from above from the almighty nobody knew that but they were they were all looking and, and they're, they're they're poking and prodding but those external factors what we need to do um that that goes in the same package as procrastination those are some things that we have to eliminate out of the process because 
we, we allow ourselves to be consumed by those things. But when we're consumed by external factors, what we do is we, we continue to go around and around and around and around. And that's how we get swiped off this earth. And, and Noah, he stayed, he stayed within. He stayed yeah. within and, 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 you know, he practiced that proactiveness and, and, and wasn't, wasn't allowing any external factor to creep in and, and, and persuade him one way or another. Yeah. Yeah. And it goes back to what you mentioned about waiting for the, the perfect time and mm-hmm. waiting for, yeah. you know, cause, cause I'm sure it was, you know, it was probably hot. Uh, you know, the animals were stinky, you know, the <laughs> wood was heavy, you yeah. know, the, the tar was sticky, you know, the hammer yeah. was, like there's so many things that that could have been like you know like you said a, a procrastinator would have you know oh, I'll do it tomorrow man you exactly. know oh, I yeah. I do it next week you know uh, and 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 it almost goes back to the analogy I used last week about you know waiting to jump in man waiting to you know waiting on that that double dutch uh, rope to get just right yeah. man for yeah. jump it's that same thing it's never gonna be the right circumstance man it's never gonna be the right time it's never gonna be you know, uh, you know, the stars align, as they say, none, none, that never happens like mm-hmm. ever, you know, and, and if it, if it does, it's only for a split second, <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like, like, like there are some instances where things look pretty, you know, at the moment. Yep. And if yep. you're not ready, if you're not ready, then, you know, then you're right back in that same cycle, man. So right. I think it's really, really important that we dig down on, you know, the fact that, you know, uh, he, 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 he stayed the course, you know, and then, then not only that, man, he, and you mentioned the, 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 the external factors, you know, but not only that, man, uh, he didn't put it off when it got hard, you know, he didn't, he didn't stop like, okay, you sure, man? Like this is tough. (laughs) Right, right, right. right, right. Don't, don't question, trust the process, right? We've all heard that. We've yes, sir. <laughs> don't, don't question. Just trust the process. You know, you're talking about this hammer, and I have this image in my mind of him just hammering away these pegs going into the in the big chunks of wood, right? Just hammering. Okay, that, I'm going to go right back to that prep, rep, repeat mantra, right? You have the plan. You have the blueprint. You have the, the, the guidelines. You have the playbook in front of you. You know how to uh, pursue building this arc, this, this hypothetical arc, which is uh, what you can relate to your life or your fitness or your relationship or your whatever. And if you want to make an ironclad life, you want to make an ironclad relationship, ironclad fitness game. um, You know, it comes down to those reps. Okay. You have the blueprint and you rep that hammer, you rep that hammer, you rep that hammer. It's like the old saying goes, man, you could, you could hit a a tree a hundred times. If you're hitting it all over the place, you're just going to have 100, 100 slashes and gashes in that tree. But if you hit that sucker 100 times in the same place, rep, 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 rep. Little by little, that tree will come down. Little by little, you will build your masterpiece. You will develop that masterpiece. Start today. Start today. <laughs> Too many people are waiting, Dwayne. Too yes, many sir. people are waiting. Okay? Stop procrastinating. Procrastination is a man's killer. It's a woman's killer. It will bring you to your knees, and it will keep you down on the ground. So start today. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. All right, do the things right. Do it today. Do it today. Yes. Mm. Yeah, man. Mm. Yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. Y'all, y'all getting for free what people had to pay three twenty <laughs> for. Brass <laughs> talk last night. <laughs> you know, hey man. You know, this is this is all free content too, and and you know we're we're, we're dropping nuggets. This isn't this isn't like mind blowing stuff, but sometimes nope. you just need to hear it. In a, in, yes. a, in a different fashion. So that's, yep. you know, you're, you're talking about leaving comments. You're talking about liking. You're talking about sharing this podcast. This is free content. This is two yep. normal guys that have taken an average life and turned it into iron. You're talking, you're talking building your masterpiece. You're talking building this, 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 this arc, this structure, this, this ironclad life, right? Um, my, my, uh, my prep rep repeat mantra is directly correlated with taking your life from average to iron. That's what you've done, Dwayne. That's what I've done, Dwayne. That's what a lot of people that have uh, have been with us as uh, as far as uh, E2M and fitness goes, they're taking their average life, setting it on cruise control, and getting their life to an iron life just by that prep rep prep rep repeat mantra that prep rep repeat mentality lifestyle however you want to look at it and 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 holding themselves accountable being proactive and not and not using that element of procrastination but this is all free content get out there and share this man (laughs) i know right (laughs) the prr uh army baby the prep rep repeat army baby yeah Yeah, man no legit 
No, that it, it that's that's really good, man. I'm glad you brought that up, man. Like, like you mentioned, it's just average guys, bro. Like average guys, like, yep. Literally, not, nothing, nothing too hot or special, you know. Uh, right. Probably terrible on our best days, you know. But <laughs> but <laughs> but but you know, just uh, able to put our heads down and and, and grind out uh, yeah. for a season, man. And 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 we're just getting started. That's the beautiful yeah. thing about it, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're just yeah. getting started, and we're seeing some amazing things um, come come to pass. And and you know, a lot of the opportunities that we have uh, or we have experienced so far. If we would have procrastinated, you know, because I, I think back to my story. If if when boss man told me this, uh, hey, put together a presentation, if I would have procrastinated and waited to the last minute and half put something together, yeah. you know, and, and 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 you know, kind of threw something together last minute, you know, the night mm -hmm. before. I used to be a night before warrior now in high school. Yeah. <laughs> was, Weren't was, we all? Weren't we I was, all? <laughs> I, was a, I was a night before warrior, boy. I was mm, but... <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. But, yes, sir. Hey, that that I did I didn't do that with this. And it yeah, and it no. showed, but but yeah. but uh but no, just you know, just not procrastinating, man, and and, and mm -hmm. taking the bull by the horns and, and giving it my best, man, and that just leading to so much more, man. Yeah. And and you know, to to the high schooler that might run across this podcast, mm -hmm. this yeah. this you know YouTuber, you know, we me and Brad, like you said, we we've been that night before Warrior, man. That you you'll do so much better, and I'm sure you told your student today the same thing. You'll do yeah. so much better if you start today like i don't yeah. care when that project is. if you start right now yeah. and and work through that thing and not put it off uh to tomorrow or whatever uh you know it, it it's going to turn out that much better and before i pass it over to you man i can't help in my mind there's a song growing up uh by the Winans brothers talking about tomorrow you know tomorrow uh you know every every day was like you know uh uh, somebody said I'll provide all your needs, but but you said I will. But tomorrow, everything was tomorrow, man. And at the end of the song, it says tomorrow might be too late. You know, yeah, yeah. that you just never know. And that, that you yeah. know, that goes back to our other episode, man, with your with your mm -hmm. guy, man. That yeah, that uh, that was unfortunate situation, man. You know, mm -hmm. you never know what tomorrow holds, man. So you, it's no. always best to start the day. And I'll shut up right here. <laughs> yeah. No, no, man. Like it's it's such a sad and, and harsh reality that uh, you know we take life for granted, and you know we go into this monotonous um, this monotonous way of life of of just doing these things that don't provide any quality, any any good value to our lives, and and all, then all of a sudden, twenty years has passed, thirty years has passed, forty years has passed, and we haven't done anything. Like that's mm. a, that's a scary thing. And Dwayne, that's that's the one thing right now that's keeping me driven. I am scared to death to reach 45 years old, to reach 55 years old. I'm scared to death to look back at my life and realize, what have I done? I haven't done mm. anything. That's that's the one thing that I'm I'm scared to death of, and I'm not going to allow it to happen. That's that's my responsibility. That's my obligation. Nobody has control over my life. Nobody has nobody has control over my steering wheel. I'm going to steer my life in the direction that I want it to go. She can't control it. He can't control it. my wife. She might be able to control it a little bit, but I'm not no. going to a, a little. <laughs> <laughs> she she kind of nudges me. She nudges me in the right direction. <laughs> she gives me the elbow, the elbow boy. Uh, and she says, "Hey, go go this way." Okay, right. very good. <laughs> but Better I'm listen. not going to. Yes, exactly. I'm not going to let some external factor. Anybody outside of this house is not going to control me building my art. They're not going to control me building my life. I'm not going to look back someday and say, "Hey, because he laughed at me or she laughed at me." I'm not going to look back and say, "I allowed them." to consume what I wanted to do in life. And I'm going to end with this because I know we're creeping up on that time. All right. If you continue to delay in your life, the storm will come. Okay. That's inevitable. The storm will come and it will come unexpectedly and it will wipe you out. If you procrastinate, be ready. Your arc is your obligation. Period. I need a Hammond B3 right here, boy. You preaching. <laughs> Period. I love Period. it. I love it. No, that's yes, that's that's super dope, super fire, man. And I I am not gonna follow that because that was that was a great way to end <laughs> that, that dialogue. Uh, so we'll get into our last segment before we get out of here. Do you know? 
All right. So this week, do you know falls on me? And um, it's it's a funny one. Uh, my mom reminded me of this. Uh, but did you know, as a child, uh, actually right around the age of one, I could get myself out of a uh, baby kit, you know, the baby uh, bed. <laughs> yeah. I My mom told me that I would shake the bed until the rail fell down a little bit <laughs> and would flip over it and be gone. She could never oh, like, God. you know how you try to put the baby in there so you can go do something else? Yeah, she yeah. said, I would never. never stay in there. She <laughs> said, I figured it out, man. So I found yeah. out this week, so y'all finding out as well. Did you yeah, know I, yeah. I was a baby acrobat and you couldn't contain me in a uh, baby bed or anything like that. So that's my <laughs> Do you know this week? <laughs> hey, you, you you had things that you wanted to accomplish. You wanted to be proactive. You had to get out of that bed. You couldn't grow in that bed, so you had to get outside hey. the bed. And I got to experience the world, man. <laughs> That's right. I didn't want to procrastinate, man. I got That's out right. of there. That's right. I love it, man. I love it. No, nah, <laughs> man. That 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 was uh, my mom reminded me of that this weekend, That's funny. and it's funny because I faintly remember that. Like and like, oh wow. For whatever reason, I kind of remember yeah. like that that bed and shaking it. Well, I don't know. It's weird, but anyway, we. <laughs> We're telling you all of our secrets on this podcast. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of them. I love it. Yeah, man. But no, we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, man. Like we said at the top of the show, uh, all the love, man, is so greatly appreciated. Um, even B, I was at Carowinds today, man, and people recognize yeah. and, and, yeah. and shout out the podcast uh, out there as well, man. So we, we greatly appreciate that. We want you to guys continue to do it. And uh, man, till next week, man. B, you got anything to say? Nah, man. Good to see everybody. Good to good to have everybody in the house. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great week. We'll see you next Monday.